everyone now i understood the problem or rather i can say the pain of a data analyst that usually they get some sort of duplicates entries in their data and that's where i thought of coming with this video and in here i'm going to show you how you can remove the duplicates from your data okay so let me first take you to this problem statement there are two things which i'm going to explain number one how to remove the row which is completely duplicate entirely duplicate which means it has the duplicate value in each of the column the second one not each of the column is having the same data or not each of the column is having the duplicate value but any one of the column is having the duplicate value and by which we want to remove the duplicates so stay with me i'm going to explain both of these two problem statements one by one and solution for that of course right now let me switch to the actual table where we have the problem statement now in this one what you see is if you observe this row this one so it has the same invoice id same name same gender etc everything is same again the same situation with this entry right so what we observe over here is the first problem statement where the entire entry is duplicate means for each of the column for this particular row the value is same as above how to fix this so for that again we need to go into the powerful environment which is nothing but transform data and right over here this is yeah you got it right this is power query window right power query interface rather you can say and over here all that you require to do is select your table and then in remove rows you need to go in remove rows because here are in uh, here the problem statement is the entire entry is duplicate duplicate does not matter where you click right it will work right so for example in any one of the column you have to click for sure go in remove rows and from here just click remove duplicates as soon as you do that you see now we are left with only 13 rows all those duplicates are gone right so this is how it works now the next problem statement which i'm going to show you over here is in the second table right in another table be mindful about that right so now you notice this entry right over here the problem statement is invoice id is duplicate but rest of the entries are same so if i click on this and if i go in remove rows and if i do remove duplicates before i do that let me show you how many rows that we have 25 rows okay now if i go over here and i remove duplicates is there something happening is there something which changed no we still have 25 rows because there was no duplicate in customer name right so what we need to do is we need to select the column by which we want to remove the duplicate and then go in remove rows then click on remove duplicates as soon as you do this you are left with 16 rows which means the duplicates are gone right where it had the duplicates in invoice id right so this is how you just observe there are two problem statement one when the entire entry is duplicate in that case does not matter where you click in the table just go and click on remove duplicates but if the case is where in one column in your data in your data just one column has the duplicate values then particularly you require to click in that column and go in remove rows and then click on remove duplicate so this is how you can remove the duplicates from your data uh, once this is done all that you need to do is click this button close and apply and go back to the power bi actual visualization view in that you need to of course go in tables view so that you could see the changes and over here like you can see it correctly this is the table one and into it now you have unique entries in table two also you have unique invoice ids so this is how you can treat the duplicate values you can remove the duplicate entries from your data i just hope that again it was very very simple for you and useful for you i'm damn sure it, it is going to be useful now let me know into the comment section when did you use this solution and what problem you solved using this solution let me know in the comment section and we're gonna enjoy that thanks once again wish you very good luck